The day began with some long overdue good news. The administration announcing via tweet that the president had waived the Jones Act, which restricted ships not under U.S. flags from entering U.S. ports. Today, at an event with Democrat Phil Murphy and Latino leaders, there was some hope, but also some wariness. It's a good step. We, if we had found that it was a little slow to respond. I would have to say that if they had been any other Americans, I think the response would have been a lot faster. Jones Act repeal or not, the goods that have made it to the island are not getting to where they need to go because of bureaucracy and the lack of personnel to even move it off the docks. Hudson County freeholder Junior Maldonado is part of NJ4PR.org, a statewide coalition of private and public organizations coordinating relief efforts from the Garden State. He says the island's governor is doing as much as could be expected. His leadership uh, has been on point, just like the, uh, the mayor of San Juan has been on point with leadership. But we need more, and we need the, the federal government to support those efforts and New Jersey to support it. Jersey is home to almost half a million Puerto Ricans, many still without news about their loved ones. This effort in Jersey City is one of dozens underway across the state, spearheaded by NJ4PR. And I know the news coverage is easier to do it at the metropolitan area, but the people in the center of the island, I, I don't think that even a, a true assessment has been made of this condition. But even after that assessment is made, addressing the needs, food, water, shelter, but also avoiding outbreaks of disease and civil disorder will require a federal aid package in the billions. But even a debate on the package won't take place for weeks. It's hard not to feel like there's, a, there's one class of folks if you're over here and there's another class if you're over there. It does not feel like it's getting m meaningfully better. And I hope Congress moves aggressively, swiftly, uh, and decisively. Murphy and his electoral rival Republican Kim Guadano signed a letter this week urging support for the NJ for PR effort. But the politics of disaster relief can be fraught. This morning, Senator Bob Menendez said the White House canceled the military transport for a dozen or so members of Congress who wanted to see for themselves what was happening on the island. By this afternoon, the situation had been righted. With the greatest military on the face of the earth, I would get on a cargo plane. I've done that in Iraq. I've done it in Afghanistan when things are being taken. I would have sat on a cargo plane to get to Puerto Rico. As I'm sure any other member who was going to go with me would have sat on a cargo plane if you're sending cargo. So to tell me that you don't have assets is ridiculous. The price of further delay could be more lives lost. On an island of three and a half million Americans, many who are wondering, if anyone can hear their cries for help. For NJTV News, I'm David Cruz.